This is lesson four of Maps Engine Lite. In this lesson, you will learn how to use the various tools on the toolbar. There are seven tools on the toolbar. To begin with, we'll look at these two tools here, Redo and Undo. Undo will go back, Redo will go forward. Exactly the same to undo and redo on any other application. The next tool on the toolbar is the Select Items. This is represented by a hand icon. When you select this, it will put a hand on your map. And if you click the mouse button, you can drag the map up and down as much as you like. And you can grab it and go to different places, like I'm showing you now. You can also use the hand to look at the different marker points. So for example, if we wanted to look at the marker point for Paris, we click, and there we go, we can see the marker point for Paris and the details it gives. So if we wanted to see Manchester, we can click on Manchester and we can see the details for Manchester. The next tool on the toolbar is Add Marker. Now there are two ways you can add a marker to your map. One we've seen already, where you use the search bar, and you can search for a place, and then you can add the marker once the point has been placed. But you can also add the marker directly into the map if you want to be more specific. So for example, if we was to zoom in here, let's zoom in and we can take the marker point and let's put a marker here and that will put the marker point under the layer that we are in at that time. We can then change the name and we can put a description if we want. Equally, we can go over to here and change the format to what we want it to be as well. So we can change that to star and then orange. And then save. If we don't want the marker, we can then go and delete the feature. The next tool on our toolbar is the draw a line. Now this is a very powerful tool, as you'll find out in future lessons. If we click on that, we can see there's several options. We're going to look at the first one first, add line or shape. This will allow us to add a line between one place and the next. To set the line, you click again, and that will ask you to name the line. So we're looking at Paris to Rome. We can then put a description in, in there as well if we want to, and then save. We can now see the line between Paris and Rome. We can edit this line over here. We can change the color. So let's change it to a green and let's change the width of the line. We can also edit the line over here as well and we can add things to the line. So if we want to add a description, we can or we can click on the add image or video. So we click on that and we can search for images. So let's have a look. Search. And let's choose the Colosseum. And we can add that by selecting it here, and that will add that to that particular line, and then we can save. We can also see the distance between the two points 1,107 kilometers from Paris to Rome. In addition to this, we can use the tool to find the area between the various points. So I'm going to click on the line tool, add line or shape. Now let's draw some lines. One, two, three, four, and then you have to go back to the beginning and click again. Now it's saying we want to name our polygon. So let's name our polygon. And then we can put a description, and then we can add an image or a video if we want to. Let's just save that. Now we can see a few more details. We can see the perimeter of this is 1,977 kilometers, we can also see that the area of this polygon is 241,842 square kilometers. As we can see over here, it's added our polygon to our 2007 layer. So we can now format this to the way that we want it. So let's click on the bucket. So let's click make it green and we can change the transparency. We can change the border width. You can now see that we've created a polygon in Europe. 
we may want to change different aspects of our polygon. So let's double click on our polygon and now you've got little points that have appeared on the lines of the polygon. We can grab these and move them out. Every time you drag these points it creates another point halfway between the two new points. So our polygon can actually get very complicated. And when we click on our polygon, the area has changed and the perimeter. OK, let's zoom in to the United Kingdom. So we have our three points, London, Birmingham and Manchester here. Now I want to get directions between these three points. So there's two ways we can do this. We can click on the draw line and we can add a driving route. So I'm going to click on driving route, go from London to Birmingham and then I'm going to add another destination and then I'm going to go from Birmingham to Manchester. You can also use the sixth tool in your toolbar which is add directions which does exactly the same thing and you can add directions for cars, you can add directions for bikes and for walking. Finally the distance tool will measure the distance between as many places as you want it to. So for example let's choose a place, let's go to this place here and let's go to how far is it to Gloucester we can see there it's 226 kilometers. We can also choose a next place. Let's go to Bury in St Edmunds. And then finally we can go back and then it's 559 kilometers. But when we click we can also see that it's 12,657 square kilometers in area. When you click the distance tool again the information will disappear. That concludes this lesson. The following lessons are going to focus on how you can import data into your map and we're going to use Google Forms and Google Spreadsheets to do this.